planning and coordination of assets and coordination between various agencies like uh, the civil admin with the divisional commander, the camp commanders at various places towards the shrine, the army commanders, BSF as well as the Jammu and Kashmir police. So that was what we did towards the night of uh, 8th of July. The main air operations started on uh, 9th of July, wherein uh, operations started from morning around 8 o'clock. The assets which we used were four Mi 17s V5 from the base unit here, four Cheetals which augmented from the unit at Leh, and two more fixed wing assets which got in manpower and assets from other parts of the country. You would realize that despite the inclement weather which we faced during this time and we lost almost half a day on uh, 10th of July wherein no air effort could be carried out till 1400 hours. We were still able to carry out about 112 missions during this course of time. During these missions, uh, we carried out uh, evacuation of uh, 123 people from the shrine and the caves as well as Panchantri. And uh, we also carried several mortal remains back to Srinagar. Approximately 29 tons of uh, relief and rescue material was flown in from this base and few places nearby to the lower cave as well as Panchantri. This effort would not have been possible without a lot of coordination and cooperation between various agencies. The load which was carried up towards the shrine was basically people from the NDRF team which carried their equipment as well as their dog squad. We had uh, army engineers which carried uh, equipment like the rock drilling machines. We had civil administration officials as well as some media personnel also. Air Force on its part also ensured that on the morning of uh, 9th, we carried uh, about close to 500 food packets knowing that immediately this was something which would be required at that place. The initial setting up of uh, air control and task force at Panchantri was a big decision which we took, which was done with the first helicopter which landed there. They ensured that the cooperation and management of all the requirements which was given from the civil authorities there was carried out. You would understand that the valley being very narrow, airspace being limited, and we had enough people operating in that area, be it the Air Force helicopters, be it Army Aviation, or the civil operators. These people ensured that aerospace safety and safety of equipment and personnel was ensured during this transit to and fro. I think one of the major highlights of this was the joint operations which we carried out between various agencies, be it the civil administration, the divisional commander at Kashmir, the camp commanders up there, the officers and men of 15 Corps, the border security force people, or the Jammu and Kashmir police. I think we all of us work together in a controlled and coordinated manner towards the same goal of ensuring that the task is completed satisfactorily. In the end, I would just like to say that as a team, as an Air Force, we are committed to helping each and every person who requires a help in this dire need. Thank you so much. Uh, the Commodore, uh, in terms of uh, this peacetime operation, how big was this? Uh, in terms of peacetime operations, as compared to a lot of operations we have seen, it was a bit on a smaller scale. I think basically because of the initial effort which people put in 
on the first day and because of that the fatality rate and the number of casualties was really limited. I think a major effort has already gone through and uh, they have I think already cleared opening the Yatra again. We think maybe in a day or two we will be able to clear the area for anything else. I think आपने जो बोला मौसम मौसम का काफी ज्यादा दबाव था because आप देखेंगे कि वैली काफी नैरो थी और क्लाउडिंग बहुत थी और because of क्लाउडिंग and valley choppers को enter करने के लिए बहुत difficulty हो रही थी तो हमारे सब minimum criteria हैं कि अगर आपको वो नहीं दिखता है आप नहीं जा सकते हैं तो इफ आप देखेंगे इवन सिविल ऑपरेशन सिविल ऑपरेटर्स ने भी फॉर कल के सवेरे टिल दो बजे दोपहर तक कोई फ्लाइंग नहीं की थी बेसिकली मौसम की वजह से जब तक शाम तक पता लगा था बिकॉज मौसम खराब था सो हमें पता जब तक लगा एंड हमने सोचा कि अब करेंगे बेटर टू डू इट इन अ कंट्रोल्ड एंड फेस्ड मैनर एंड डेट्स वाई मौसम की वजह से बेसिकली अगले दिन सवेरे सवेरे करने के लिए प्लान किया था नाइन्थ मॉर्निंग प्लान किया